Hello and welcome to my under four minute uh, face swap tutorial. First thing we need is both photos here within your Photoshop. That way we have them all set up and ready to go. Next, you're going to pull that secondary photo down, the one where you want to pull your noggin from, and then you are going to hold shift and drag the photo right on top of the secondary one. That will leave you with two layers, one being your background and the top one being your foreground. Next, we're going to use a selection tool and make a box right around the head that we are wanting to use. And then we are going to control J to bring that into another layer. Now that that is done, we want to go ahead and remove the extra layer by hitting the little eyeball looking thing next to it. That gets rid of the photo that we don't want that we pulled our head from. Now with our third layer selected, we're going to control T so that we are able to resize this and bring the opacity down so that we're able to double check we, where we want our face to go. It can take a little while to get this right where you want it. Just be sure that you are getting it pretty, pretty close to where the old face was. That way you're not having to do too much work. My biggest tip here is to make sure that the photos are pretty similar. Not only do you want it to be the same type of day, you want it to be kind of the same color of photo. You don't really want too much difference. It's even better as well if you were to use a tripod, that way you have the photo pretty much in the same spot. Once you have the photo where you want it, bring the opacity back up and then click your drawing tool. Now to zoom into your photo, you're gonna hit Control plus. That way you're able to see what you're doing and when you're doing it. And with the selection tool, now we're just going to kind of erase what we don't want. I say that, you know, using the background picture the most is your best option. Try to get as close to the face as you can. Normally I try to kind of buff out the edges that way the photo doesn't look so awkward in the background and use most of the face but not a majority of that body toggling back and forth between the black and white boxes are how you're going to add or subtract to the photo to get where you would like to go as you can tell here i kind of get into where a majority of the body is looking not so real <laughs> We want to try to get rid of as much as possible, that way it looks as real as possible. Take your time and get as perfect as you possibly can. There is no time limit to this but I did do this under four minutes. Now that we're done making this look real, control minus to bring the photo back out and take a look and save and you're done. Congratulations, that is your first head swap. I hope you all have a wonderful day and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.